Derek the Gator is back, baby. What's happening? How you doing, y'all? Hope you had a good week. Hope you had a good weekend. Welcome back to the channel. Well, this past weekend was a very busy weekend for the Riverboat family. Um, we're looking to move into a new house soon, so please wish us luck on that. Um, I've been very busy. That's why I didn't upload a video this past weekend. And last night I wanted to upload a video, but I got caught up watching NXT War Games WWE pay-per-view last night. Awesome pay-per-view. If you're a wrestling fan, it was a great show, man. But time got away from me. Then I, I started watching The Mandalorian. And yeah, it was just a it was a very, very busy weekend. But I'm back. Thank you for being patient. Hey, I got a new video for you. Doing something a little different. Uh, in my previous video, I did my top five trackball games for the Ad Games Legends Ultimate. I hope you watched it. I hope you enjoyed it. Today, I want to welcome you to the very first episode of a series that I'm going to start called Does It Still Work? <laughs> okay. Uh, a little insight about myself. Um, yes, I'm a retro gamer, but I'm also a collector. I love old school game consoles. I've been collecting ever since I was a kid. My dad bought me my first Nintendo, my 8-bit system, my NES, whatever you want to call it. Um, from that point, I wanted to see what other consoles had to offer and other consoles, and it just snowballed throughout my whole life. Well, today, I want to see if a certain console still works, and I want you to join me as I try this out, okay? So please be patient with me. Ugh, I am so nervous because this console is near and dear to me. Um, real quick, uh, you know, I always look for independent game stores wherever I go. My wife and I, she was pregnant, she was pregnant with our first child. We took a trip up to Georgia and uh, I saw an independent game store. And um, once I saw it, I, I bust a U-turn, went in there and I had to go check it out. Amazing store, amazing place. I, as I was looking around, I was looking for new hardware, you know, some consoles that I, I didn't previously own in my collection. And I saw Neo Geo AES. Now, <laughs> do I really need to go into detail why I'm so nervous about this? Like, do I really need to? When this console hit store shelves back in 1990, okay, this console is 30 years old. It retailed, the retail price was 650 bucks, $650. Now, of course, I can understand why it costs so much, but being a kid, there was no way I could ask my parents for something like this. There's no way. I, it, this thing was a dream. Okay? If you don't know, this console, if you had any games for this console, it was just like the arcade versions that you played in the arcade, like Fatal Fury, Samurai Showdown. You had those experiences at home through this console. Now, this console back then cost 650 bucks. The games... I, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say they started off at, at 200 bucks. Man, I had to beg my dad for a Nintendo, okay? He finally got me a Nintendo. Two or three years later, I wanted a Sega Genesis. I asked him for a Sega Genesis. His reply was, I just bought you a Nintendo. I was like, Dad, that was like three years ago. <laughs> so, so, you know. And, you know, me growing up in the hood, in the ghetto, you know what I'm saying? I was lucky to have that. But, um, yeah, this the Neo Geo was a console that you knew existed, but you never seen it. You may have gone to the mall and you saw, you walked into a beverages or an electronics boutique or something like that, and you saw this on the shelf. But you know you would never be able to touch it. 650 bucks. Look at, look at today's consoles. Look at the PlayStation 5. Look at the Xbox Series X. This is more. This was more expensive than those consoles today back then. But hey, 
you got that arcade experience at home. The same games you played in the arcade, you were able to play at home. So, fast forward to 2008. I saw this in an independent game store, and I had to get it. For, the, for that reason. For the reason that I was never able to have one growing up. And I, I knew I couldn't have one growing up. When I bought it, I want to say I paid, I think I paid 185 bucks for it. Taxes and all the kind of stuff, close to 200 bucks. So I had to do it. I, I had to get it. I was, I was fortunate enough to buy it. And um, real quick, let me show you my game collection. All right? Because you have the console, you got to have games, right? Here's my game collection. Let me get it all together for you. Hold on. Ah, all right. All right. Here you go. That's it. One game. <laughs> One game. Uh, let's see. If you, I don't know if the camera picked this up. That's the price tag from Electronics Boutique, I believe. No, Babbage's. $199.99. Okay. When I bought this game from that store back in 08, I paid 50 bucks for it. This is the only game he had in the store. So, this isn't my favorite console of, of my collection. I mean, in my collection, and if you stay tuned to the channel, which I hope you do, you'll see in future episodes, I mean, I have everything from Atari 2600 all the way to current gen. I mean, my, I've been collecting consoles all my life. But as a retro console collector, you know, you have to test these things out to see if they still work. And, uh, you know, hey, Things break. Things break. They don't. They don't last forever, unfortunately. But um, these things, are like, I'm not gonna say they're like my kids, but they're a huge part of me, and um, it'll break my heart if this thing doesn't power on. It will. It will break my heart. So please, today, join me as I attempt to power this thing on. I haven't turned this thing on. I want to say in maybe three years. Three years ago, I last played this. Hopefully it still works. I'm always afraid to try because I don't want the heartbreak of discovering that it no longer works. Yeah, so we're gonna get started. If you're ready, I'm ready. Um, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna connect everything. I already cleaned my cartridge. Um, I use a little, uh, use some Q-tips and some Windex. I know there's other methods of doing that, um, but that's that's the way I do it. I already cleaned it up. I mean, look at this thing. Look, look, at, look how huge that is. But this, this is the same same experience you get if you play this game in the arcades. This is the same experience. That's why it's so expensive. But I'm gonna play. I'm gonna plug this thing in. I'm gonna get everything connected and. We're gonna play the game that we collectors play. Does it still work? Let's go. All right, so uh, I'm back. Let's get this thing started. Um, hey, say a, say a small prayer for me, because like I say, these consoles I collected over the years mean a lot to me. I want to put something on your mind real quick before I turn this thing on. Years ago when I was in the Navy, there was this a fellow shipmate of mine. He was eating a hoagie. He really wanted that hoagie. He bit into his sandwich and it looked great. It, it, was, it, was, a, it was filled with meat and cheese and all that kind of stuff. He bit into that hoagie and half of the meat of that hoagie fell onto the floor. I looked at him and I actually think he was about to cry. Now I want to put something on your mind, all right? Should you feel bad for the man or should you feel bad for that hoagie? All right. You could, tonight could be a, a very similar situation, folks. Tonight, you may see a grown man cry. If this thing doesn't turn on. 
Let's go. Now, before you beat me up in the comments, okay, I know. This is an HD television. You're not supposed to connect this to an HD television. I know, okay? I had a CRT te television a couple of years ago. It conked out on me, and I'm, I wasn't able to get another one. And now, and now that I'm speaking about that, because I know he's watching my videos, there's a certain guy who has two CRT TVs in his garage right now. And he refuses to sell me one of them. Yeah, that guy. I'm talking about you, Paul. Let's power this thing on to see if it works. Oh, we got some action. What was that? Hmm. Let me try again. You saw that though, right? It doesn't look bad. Let me uh, try to clean the cart a little bit more. Come on, baby. Work for Gator. Hey! <laughs> She still works. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Well, hey. It keeps going through that screen. I don't know if that's a hardware thing or a software thing. Let me try one more time to clean this cart. You know, these cartridges are so... Oh, so tricky. Should I try to blow on it like a Nintendo cartridge? Let's try. I know, I know that I got a, a lot of y'all hate that too, though. But, but hey, it, it powers on, so the, the console works. There it is. The Super Spy. It's not a great game, but you know it, it. It's the only game he had at the shop when I bought the thing, so I bought it. <laughs> it still works, and I am so happy. Yep, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching. But yeah, this is a new series I'm going to start. Uh, this is just the first episode of Does It Still Work? I have many other consoles I'm going to try out. So thanks for coming back to the channel. Please subscribe. Hit that like button. And stay tuned. I'm going to play a little Super Spy now. And uh, hope to see you again soon. Catch you later. Peace.